Cash, Credit Cards, or Checks, a book about payment methods. Written by Nancy Lowen. Illustrated by Brad Fitzpatrick. All right, Dad said. It's time to go back to school shopping. Do you both have your school supply lists? Yes, Amy and Kyle yelled. Dad made sure he had his wallet and checkbook. Let's hit the road, he said. At Mary Mart, Kyle and Amy began putting supplies into the cart. Dad said, it looks like I'm going to have to write a pretty big check. Just write a check for a million dollars. That should cover all of our supplies, said Kyle. <laughs> it doesn't quite work that way, laughed Dad. You can only write a check for as much money as you have in your bank account. At the register, Dad took out his checkbook. He wrote the date, the store's name, and the total amount in numbers and in words. Dad also wrote down the date, check number, and amount in a little notebook. What's that notebook for? asked Kyle. This is a register. It helps me keep track of how much money I have in my checking account, Dad answered. A check tells the bank to take that amount of money out of your account and pay it to the person or store on the check. Next, they went to the mall. Amy looked for backpacks. She liked a fancy orange one. She also liked a purple one with wheels, but it cost $10 more. Just get the orange one. It's cheaper, Kyle said. It is cheaper, but I'm buying the one with wheels, she said. My books get heavier every year. Besides, I put enough money in my checking account for a good backpack this year. Plan how you will pay for the things you need before you buy them. Price isn't the only thing to think about. You want to make quality purchases that you will be happy with. When did you get a credit card? Kyle asked Amy as she pulled out a plastic card. It's not a credit card. It's a debit card, Amy answered. The debit card goes with my checking account, but it's faster than writing a check. It works the same way, though. The bank takes money out of my account and pays the store. When a debit card is used, a record of the purchase will appear on a monthly statement. The Robertson's next stop was a big department store. Amy tried on lots of jeans. She came out of the dressing room holding three pairs. I really like the designer jeans, she said. But I can get both of these, plus a belt, for the same money. So that's what I'm going to do. I saw a sign that said if you buy any pair of shoes, you get the second pair for half price. Can I get two pairs, Dad? Kyle asked. Okay, Dad said. Your shoes do wear out in a hurry. You could use another pair. The clerk scanned Amy's purchases. This time, Dad paid with his credit card. The clerk handed him a receipt to sign and made sure his signature matched the back of the card. The clerk kept that receipt and gave Dad a different one. Does that take money out of an account, too? asked Kyle. No. Dad answered. This is an easy way of borrowing money. The credit card company pays the store, and then I pay the credit card company. Many people use credit cards because they are safer than cash. If you lose your credit card, you can cancel it, so people can't use it. If you lose cash, anyone can spend it. On the way to the food court, the Robertson stopped at a computer store. Kyle had been saving his allowance for the latest version of Frenzied Frog's Extreme. The price was still more money than Kyle had. I'll put it on my great buy card, Dad suggested. Then you can pay me back. If we use the store's card, we save $10. Then you'll have enough for the game. Thanks a bunch, Kyle said. Some stores have credit cards that can only be used there. These stores give extra discounts or savings for using their card. Dad was low on cash, so he headed for the nearest ATM. He used his debit card to make a withdrawal. What does ATM stand for? 
Kyle asked. Automatic teller machine. It's like a human teller at a bank, Amy answered. Kind of like a robot, said Kyle. Cool. Amy continued. If you have money in your account, you can get cash. You can also make deposits and move money between accounts. The machine reads your account number from the magnetic strip on your card. Then you enter your PIN. That's your own secret code. PIN stands for Personal Identification Number. And now, said Dad, this is the moment I've been waiting for all day. I'm going to sit down and take a break. Here's some cash. Please go get us some ice cream. And don't forget to bring me the change. Thank you.